What's the worst nightmare for a loss prevention professional? Is it the teammate that jumps from the second level mezzanine in the stock room down to the first level into a beanbag chair to be funny? Is it the reckless forklift driver that hits the sprinkler head with the forklift? Is it the crazy female shoplifter that hides jewelry in her private parts? Is it the bad shrink number after inventory that just gives you anxiety? No, for me, my worst nightmare was the emergency exit runner. And today's story takes place at that emergency exit. That is the exact one. I went back to the scene of the crime, back to my roots where it all started for me. Enjoy today's story. Here I am, scene of the crime. This is where today's story actually took place. Those doors right back there, so many sweet memories. Popping out of those doors to catch shoplifter after shoplifter after shoplifter, running across this parking lot this way, running across the parking lot that way, running behind this building, running on the side of the building, running through neighborhoods all around this building. Good times. Well, this story, it does not take place at those doors. This story takes place at the emergency exit I showed you at the beginning in the intro. Now, most of the time, we would stop shoplifters at those doors. We would let them pass the point of sale, which was the registers, and then give them every chance to pay for the item and stop them at those doors. But sometimes, shoplifters would just load up items and run out emergency exits. And that was always a challenge. So again, loss prevention professionals, worst nightmare, the emergency exit. And that's what happens here in this story. I'm watching cameras, it's 9.30 at night. At that point, this retailer closed at 10. No one in the store except four gentlemen in electronics. I'm watching them because there's no one else to watch, but they're also acting really shady. Sure enough, one of them pops out a device to pop our security cases open. And today we're talking about iPod Nanos, back in the iPod Nano days. Very popular theft device. Shoplifters loved them. So just like any other expensive device, they were locked up in a security device. You could grab one, but they were in a security case. Well, one of them popped that opener out and just started popping open cases. The other three gentlemen also started popping open cases, same opener. So at that point I knew it was on. That emergency exit I showed you at the beginning of the video was feet away from where these guys were. It's right outside our electronics department. So normally, you know, I would have not been panicking. I would have been ready to just stop them at those doors right there. But in this case, I knew they were going out those emergency exits. So in that case, because they're, it's pretty far from my office to run and, and catch four people, I called the police. And I'm going to just give a shout out to where I'm in. I'm in Bellevue, Nebraska, and the Bellevue Police Department is completely awesome. And this story is just evident to that. So I called them, and they were here immediately. They were just here immediately. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying that most of the time when the police department came and, and people were stealing like this, they'd just storm in and take them right there on the floor. And that was great and all, but as loss prevention people are crook catchers, we wanted that bust. We wanted that stat. We were very competitive with our colleagues across the country, our colleagues here locally. We wanted that stat. It was like hunting and fishing, but for people, we wanted to catch them ourselves. So God bless the police department, but we wanted the stat ourselves. Now, Bellevue, that's where they're, it's a beautiful thing. And I've had a couple of police departments do this, which you'll hear about in future stories. They were going to let me have my stat. So what they did is they lined this entire building. Every emergency exit, they had officers outside. That emergency exit, they had four officers outside to match the four people inside. But they had them all covered, just in case, which was fantastic. So I'm resting a little more easy as I'm watching them, and I know we're going to get them. And these guys are cocky. They are strutting around. They are laughing, and I, I swear, if I was standing, they, they got the just the strut that you would just not believe. They were having so much fun as they were stealing these iPods and it was gonna make it so much sweeter when I got them. So they're strutting around. They've got every iPod we sell stuffed in one part of their body or another. And sure enough, they turn and look at that emergency exit and they're going out. And as they're walking towards it, they're laughing like they think they're gonna get away with the crime of the century. So the first one just blows open the doors, and they are just met with a wall of Bellevue police officers. And it was fantastic. 
I wish I could share the video with you because it was a great video of the look on their face. It went from cocky happiness to pure oh shit in two seconds. It was great. Just great. So at that point, I start to run back there to help. The officers get one of them immediately. The other three run inside the store. Two of them split off. I start to chase them. And I look over and the third guy that's running, a customer just completely wipes him out. If you've ever watched professional wrestling, he speared him, and it was one of the best spears I've ever seen. We had very recently, right before this, we'd had a horrible, horrible shooting at a mall here, uh, very nearby in Omaha. And so everybody that was in a retail environment was always on high alert. Well, this guy thought one of those situations was happening, and he just laid this guy out. So I was like, cool, customers got him. I'm going after these two. So they ended up running through the stock room. And they were trying to get to an emergency exit in the back. Police officers were back there, but they couldn't get in because of our emergency ex exits were locked. So I'm running back there, and I'm kind of by myself at this point. A couple officers came around front to try to find me. The two guys don't realize I'm back there, and they run right into me. And so I just took what I saw the customer do, and I just decided to try to do a, a double arm spear. And I took one of them down pretty well. The other one kind of skimmed off me. But by that time... Several officers came out and helped me out, and we got them. We got them, picked them up. Some other officers went and got the, the one the customer laid out. The officers had the first guy outside. But, man, this place looked like a war zone. There were, I don't know if it was Omaha police helping Bellevue police, but there was a helicopter. There was a police dog. Officers all over the place. You had all the, the cherries going. It just looked like this place was under attack. But it was for these four dudes, and I swear the Bellevue Police Department had my back like no other. It was awesome. And we got them. So they tried the emergency exit. It might be the loss prevention professional's worst enemy, but not today. We got them. It's so cool to be back here. So cool to reminisce. So many stories from this place. I miss it. It's too bad this retailer's not here anymore. It's very sad, but oh well. What can you do? So I hope you enjoyed today's story. Happy ending. They all went to jail. Good times. Good times, good times. If you did like this video, please subscribe. Got the little button in the bottom right of your screen. Many more stories to come. Until then, peace and love.